Hi, it's Leslie, Seeking Sister Wife, and today we're looking at the Davis family. And I'm telling you, Nick is a piece of work. What a racket he's got going on. I'm going to get into it. Just to catch up, Danielle has just moved back in after um, had a total freak out and moved out when the family wanted to start dating to find yet another sister wife. They have three, and that's not enough because Nick wants a lot of wives and these other women want a lot of wives. So um, Danielle just didn't know if she was ready for that, but she's back. She's back in the fold and says she couldn't live without him. So it's been a rough couple of weeks, but um, they're on the mend, the sisters, the sister wives, if you will. And here's where they're at. There's been a little bit of tension in the house. So I thought it'd be fun for us ladies to spend some time together. I found a place where you could literally go and just smash up things. So they want to spend some time together. I guess doing laundry and taking care of the kids, that's not really spending time together. Um, and sleeping in that big old bed together, that's not spending time together. But anyway, they want to spend some time together. And they go out and they go to one of those places where you smash stuff. Weird choice of things. I mean, I guess they've got some built up frustration, Danielle, and I don't know. So they're bonding over going out and smashing stuff. They, they don't look super athletic. Not that you need to be athletic to smash stuff. But anyway, there they go. It's only been a few weeks since Danielle left and came back in, and um, already... It really feels like we have turned a corner. Yes! Right. It may be time to talk about starting the date again. Alrighty, that polygamy train is on the move, and Danielle either needs to hop on or just get off, because it's, it's moving. It's moving with or without you. They basically give her a few weeks to get over it, and um, I guess she did, or so she says, and they're moving on. You know, they're all getting together and everything's better and magically in a few weeks this turned around, but they feel this. As sister wives, we're definitely in a much better place than we were a few weeks ago. New chapters, yes. you know, yes. new things for us. Alrighty, so they're moving on, but this is where it gets crazy and this is where I am just going to lose my mind talking about Nick. The way that we practice polygamy is the women spearhead the dating process. So in order for us to continue our search for our next wife, we all have to be on board. So the women do this too. What the freak does Nick do? What the freak does Nick do? This is what I want to know. He doesn't even do this. He just basically sits at home. I say he goes to the gym because he looks like he works out. He just sits his ass at home. He doesn't work. He doesn't take care of the kids as far as I know. He's not doing laundry. They actually have to find another life, but whatever. And the racket that he's got going. So this wife, so it, my understanding is those first two, Jennifer and April, they're legally married. So they're in a state where two women can get married. Danielle, this next one that she's so nervous about meeting, she would have to legally marry that one. This Nick guy is a genius because he basically, if he gets sick of this shit, while they're all working, making the money and providing him the house and whatever, he just sits his ass at home. When he's done with it, he's, he's gone he's free and clear. He has no legal commitment to any of this nonsense other than maybe alimony, if it's his kid. Um, and, and Danielle saddled down with this marriage. They have to deal with marrying. They have to deal with this legal marriage to this person, to this other woman. Oh my God, this Nick guy is a genius. What a slime. What a slime. Freaking Cody looks like an angel compared to this Nick. This is the worst one. Personally, I feel like if this was my person that I was going to marry in this sister wife situation, just hypothetically saying, because Lord knows this would never happen for me, but I would want to be spirit. If this was, I was going to legally marry her, I would want to be the one picking her out. My God, I got to spoon up to this night, chick me in bed night. No, I need to be picking her out. I need to run the show. <sighs> This is nuts. This is freaking nuts. But of course, these women are still nervous because of what um, Danielle did in kind of upping up and leaving and getting an apartment. Um, and they hit her up again with this question. And in all realness, Danielle, what guarantee do I have that you won't leave our family again? Again, you have no guarantees. You got nothing. You got nada. Other than maybe the other chick will have something because she's going to be legally married to her. Harder to leave then. Danielle knows, like, if they add another wife to the situation, she'll have to share Nick more. Ew. I mean, ew. Ew. 
But Danielle knows what the right answer is here. So she kind of just says what she knows she has to say and says, oh, I'll be more open and honest. And I'm, I'm ready for this. Yes, yes, you know. Do you really feel like you're ready for us to start dating other women? <sighs> um. Honestly, Danielle. No, I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. And you know, she's terrified. She's terrified. Yet she feels like she has to do this or her lovely family that she's grown to love is history. So she takes one for the team is going to marry this rando. Good for you, Danielle. But anyway, I follow this nonsense and this truly has just risen to the, the top level of nonsense, if you ask me. But I follow it every week. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next week. Bye.